All right, this should walk you through creating the distributions that you're going to need for your data project. I'm going to begin by opening the file that contains my data in a new workbook in Excel 2007. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sort my data from smallest to largest. I need to remember what that first data point, my smallest data point is, because I'm going to need it. Go ahead and open Megastat. Go to Frequency Distributions and make sure you select Quantitative. Once you've selected that, it's going to ask you for your data range. All you need to do is just highlight the cells that contain your data. Don't select the whole column. Manually go in and select each cell so that you don't end up with empty cells. Now it's going to ask you for your interval width. This is the same thing as your class width. I'm going to use 10 for mine. Now it wants the lower boundary of the first interval, or my lowest class boundary. That's going to be that 100 minus 0.5, give me 99.5. Make sure you have histogram, polygon, and ogive all enabled, and now click OK. It will create all of your output in a new sheet. Same workbook, but a new sheet. It will go ahead and set your classes, determine your midpoints, calculate your frequencies, your percentage, which you'll need for a pie chart later, your cumulative frequencies and percentages, and then create your histogram labeled with your high temperature on the X and your percent on the Y, your frequency polygon with your high temp on the X and your percentage on the Y, and your ogive where we're going to use cumulative percentages and class midpoints as our data series. So it automatically generates all three graphs and all of the statistics that you need. Just go in and save this. Do a save as. Save it as a new file. Give it a name, hopefully, that will make sense to you later. And then this is what you're going to be submitting with, along with a Word document or sometimes just this document through the Assignments tab in Blackboard for most of these descriptive statistics types programs that we do. Go ahead, exit Excel, and you're done.